Hello guys, today I would like to talk about rescue, yes, rescue, rescue that you learn from school, this is bullshit, bullshit, like Bullshit. I will make this in two or three videos because uh, uh, this is a big bullshit. Today I will speak about rescue. It doesn't work. It doesn't work the rescue that you learn on the school. Let me explain to you something. How do you learn a rescue on the school? How is that? One beam. Four ropes. No? Okay. The guy lay down there. You go up or you go down. You reach his, uh, his uh, nivel, no? And... Uh, do what you like uh, and put his weight on your ID and you go down with him okay okay first of all when you are working okay you don't have like 20 slings to make this rescue first the timing it's crucial you have uh, about seven eight 10 minutes in the school to make this rescue okay on the field you don't have this time you have more than that half an hour let's see you work here this guy work there that guy work there that's mean you work here four meters in your left this guy just uh, passed out, okay? Or worst, his rope has cut down and he is now in the safe rope. Four meters. What do you do? You go down, no? You go up on the floor, on the uh, roof, okay? You take ropes, you put ropes on his level, you go down and you start to go down with him to rescue him okay imagine that the building have 20 floors that's mean until you get on the floor on the roof just pass 15 minutes okay you put the ropes another five minutes you get there on his level another two minutes three four five um, seven minutes with uh, rescue and when you go down just half an hour the timing doesn't work first of all okay second of all human reaction okay human reaction we talk about uh, in the school rescue of a guy who pass out. This is very easy, okay? And what do you do? You take this guy, you put him like this, no, to make a rescue, no, very good, very nice, okay. But imagine if this guy he doesn't pass out because he was drunk yesterday, no, this guy just. Uh, cut his arm or uh, uh, the first rope uh, just cut his first rope and uh, and uh, with a tap with this thing uh, just fall two meters and uh, uh, break his hand uh, in a balcony or something worse or blood came out or uh, yes this could happen you cannot do a rescue 
only if this guy is pass out. No, no, no. If he's injured, he's caught himself, you have to do a rescue. Now, this is a problem. First of all, how do you react when you see blood? Yes, blood, it's a problem. Because uh, uh, it can be that you don't know how you react when you see blood. You go there to rescue him and you pass out too. Then I have to go and rescue the both of you. Okay? Second of all, you go there, start rescuing him. Okay? Very good. And you start to move him and put him wherever you like. Never mind blood. Okay? You are very good with blood, blood flowing. You, he will have all the clothes full of blood and he will screaming and he, imagine when you put him where do you like he struck himself on the wall with his broken hand this guy will start screaming like hell you cannot rescue him because you cannot touch his hand okay screaming like hell and cursing you and you have to hurry up and and it's a ton of pressure it's not like in the school it's like in the war okay you can train yourself how much do you like 20 years you can train yourself it's like in the war when you go to war nothing it's like in it's uh, 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 like in your training okay third if you read the instruction on your ID, your ID said guarantee until 150 kilos. Very nice, very nice. I'm not trying to say that your ID will break. No, but if you have 75 kilo and your friend have again 75 kilo yes this might work if you have 19 kilos and your friend have like my teammate 105 kilo your id doesn't work yes it work your id can bring you down very good but it's not safe imagine that your ID have a weight guarantee, okay? 150 kilos. And school, they teach you that take your teammate, Angel, and put him on your ID. So, now you have 200, 230, and 20 kilos on your ID. Your ID could break. And now, if your ID break, your friend is in the safe road, you are on the safe road, rope, and I have to go and take your ass, your both asses down. This is not a very smart idea. Okay? Other thing, if you go down 10 floors, go up, on the roof go down put your ropes go down try to rescue him imagine that his uh, harness will str strangulate all that that uh, 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 legs uh, and if he lost blood he lose blood he will die until you rescue him first of all Second of all, if you work in Spain and you paint some inside part of the building, you cannot go down with him because there cannot reach 
the uh, fire workers, the police or the doctors or nothing. You have to go up with him. And this is a stupid thing to do. So, in school they teach you rescue. And imagine on uh, Irata level 3 who have uh, who had three years of experience because uh, normally you have to have for, for uh, first irata 18 years of age second irata one year of experience and third irata another year so yes it's two years of experience imagine an irata level three with two years of experience this doesn't know shit this guy doesn't know anything about rescue and the school what do the school the school teach him about rescue look two beams rescue ah, you are very good you pass the rescue very nice ah, you are very good and this guy later on the job have to rescue one of his teammates good luck the teammate is dead i'm not trying to say that the school is wrong no oh yes but no 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 all i'm trying to say is <coughs> the school have to make the rope access technicians better like better the rescue have to take more days the rescue have to have um, like more exams like screaming crying under pressure under okay to see yourself how you react on the pressure because when your teacher is down and he said uh, five minutes uh, six minutes this is not pressure my friend no 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 the pressure is when your friend your five year experience friend is there with uh, his hand cut and screaming and cursing and and struggling and this is pressure okay in the next video I think I will make this a little bit bigger in uh, how to rescue a properly a guy. Okay guys? Okay. I see you in the next video.